Heath rips it to left. Diving and making a circus catch is Mossbarger. And tagging and scoring is Leone. That could have been a lot more damage. But Mossbarger makes the diving catch out in left field in the lineup for Wright State as he goes opposite field here, and that's trouble. That's down in front of Marcus Heath. Tim's going to dig for second. He'll be in there standing up with a leadoff double. And Copel, first pitch swinging. Going to get by Jack Graham, and it's going to score Tim as well. Graham tried to backhand it. He was playing close to the bag, trying to hold the runner there. A few innings, and uh, you wonder if they could just carry that momentum. This one skips away from Gray, and scoring on the play is Saluga. So the Penguins, 2-1, to one, you said it. Nash might not look like it, but he's got a little pop, too. He's got a couple home runs on the season. It's a strikeout. Goubeau's going to have to throw him out, and they get him, barely. Tough play there by Goubeau. Good job by Banks as well. Hibbert lines it to center. Going back is Shirley over the shoulder, making the catch. Big play by the Penguin center fielder. He was on a dead sprint, makes the catch, inning over. He does, and Banks rips it through the right side for a base hit. That will score one. That's Leon holding up at third is Doche, and Jeremy Banks comes through for the Penguin. Bouncing ball, could be two. Tanner tags it himself, throws the first, right state. He's definitely making his money here. Bouncing ball, down the line and past Doche. Would have been an unbelievable play by Doche to make. And now, play at third as Davis gets under the tag and is safe and allows Michael Tim to get over to second. But nonetheless, it's two and two. Here comes McCullough. This one hit fairly well out to left. Saluga's going to go back. Both runners going to tag here. Throw goes into third base to Doche. Davis comes home, had a diving catch in left and almost had one just the same way. Pops this one up. Well, this could be trouble. We'll see if they're going to try to tag Tim, and they do. Shirley guns it in. But of course, you do need that ground ball to get that double play. McCullough went fastball, ground ball, but it gets by the first baseman, Banks. It's going to score Ash. And Gray will be held up at third base. Two base runners in scoring position. Wright State takes the lead, four to three. Though I guess you want that. You want him to make every effort. And the guy with a wide strike zone. Got him. Good pitch on a 3-2 count to get Hurleman swinging and missing. So David Leone is officially 0 for 1, and are you kidding me? Wow. You have got to be kidding me. David Leone has just been hit by the pitch for the fourth time today. Fourth time in five at bats. That's That's got to be some kind of, we got to check some kind of horizon league standings. Or, I'll tell you in the post game because I'm going to have to go and ask John Vogel if that's ever even happened in the horizon league. We're going to have to look it up. It's early today. It's just. Harry strikes one down the left field line and almost caught by Michael Tim. I think it caught him a little off guard with one strikeout and a couple ground downs. But that one was a big one. It was an RBI single through the right side. See if he can come through one more time for the Gwins. Hits this one pretty well. Out to center. Ash going back. The warning track makes the catch. Runner at first is Gray. He's singled into left, and Gray's on the move. This one hit pretty well. Into the alley, into right center. It's going to get down in front of Heath. Here comes Gray. Gray's going to be waved around. Throw at the plate. Trimmer had to wait for it too long. Now the throw down to third, and they got him. However, the throw from right field took a long time. Garrett Gray was on the move from first base, comes all the way around to school. Thing here. Two balls and two strikes, two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Nobody on for the Penguins. Saluga swings and misses, and that'll do it. Job well done for Marker, a valiant effort for Youngstown State.